Hi guys. Good morning. It's Miss Kathy's favorite day. Yay! It's hump day, Wednesday. Hump day. Today is the day that is smack dab in the middle of the week. Three days before Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Three days after Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yay! Miss Kathy loves Wednesday. Wednesday makes it that the day isn't going, the week's not going too fast. The week's not going too slow. We're right where we should be. And it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining and it's not cold and it's very cool. And tomorrow, Thursday, we get to, to meet with all the, the kids who are going to kindergarten and they're gonna wear their hats, right? And then Miss Kathy's trying to get camp open. Cross your fingers, we can get the camp open. So it's a pretty good day, right? It's a good day. So I want you to learn about the creatures that live in the sea. And the first day, Monday, what did we learn about? What creature did we learn about on Monday? <gasps> I remember now. It has eight arms. Not They don't call them legs, they call them arms. I did not know that. Eight arms. Yeah, octopus. And lives in the bottom of the ocean, right? And then on Tuesday, yesterday, we learned about another creature that has really pointy teeth and they get 8,000 teeth, oh, 8,000. They just keep losing them and getting them, losing them and getting them. Miss Kathy does not do that. I lost them once, I got one set back and that was it. I only had one chance. But shark over and over and over again, has a fin on the back, on his back and flippers so he can swim and they always move. They have to always move. Shark, yeah, shark. Today we're gonna to learn about one that you might see when you go to the, to the beach, but they don't come near you. And they're really cool looking. They're really cool looking. And I um, don't know a whole lot about them because my paperwork is over here. Hold on. I'm back. <laughs> this Kathy forgot my words, my information. I need information on jellyfish. That's what we're gonna learn about today, jellyfish. Wait, I'm getting there. Here I am, I got this. Oh, jellyfish, I got it. Jellyfish. Jellyfish have been around for millions of years. I did not know that. They lived on the earth even before dinosaurs and dinosaurs don't live here anymore. I, it was so cool. They find them everywhere in the ocean. And some of them are clear and some of them are beautiful, beautiful colors. And they can make their own light. I can't make my own light, can you? No, I don't light up, right? But jelly, some jellyfish can. They don't have a brain, they don't have a heart, they don't have bones, and they don't have eyes. I don't know how they function. I don't know how they function. They have a body and they have the, what's called tentacles and that's kind of their arms, tentacles. And the jellyfish's mouth is in the center of the body. My mouth's up here by my head, but the jellyfish right in the center. And they eat fish and shrimp and crabs and tiny plants that makes them what does that make them? Omnivore. That's not, that makes them an omnivore. And they can sting. But you don't see them very often by the beach. And when you do, just stay out of the water for a little while and watch them because they're very cool. They're very cool. They're kind of like, they call them, I think they call them jellyfish because they're like, they have almost like a jelly consistency. I know. I know. It's very cool. I like that stuff. All right. So the worksheet today is a game. And you're gonna you're gonna print it out and cut it out, and then you could play it all the time. You don't have to glue it. You can if you want, but you don't have to. You could play the game, and it's a number game. And basically, you can do all kinds of things with it. You don't have to just do one thing. So this, there's three pages to it: page one, page two, page three. And Miss Kathy cut out. I printed out two copies of the three pages. Okay, and I kept one whole. So this one, the, this, these three pages, I didn't cut them up. I left them whole. And then the other, the other copy that I made, I cut them up into, into the squares. So I have the number what? Four. And what's that one? You got it? Eight, good. 
And what's that one? Ah, that was a trick. Equals, equals. So there's all these things, see, and then there's the the um, the fish that you can count. There's a, na a minus sign and there's a nine, right? So basically what you can do, you can match. So let's see, what do I have here? I have an equal sign, right? And then I can match it and put it right on top of the equal sign like that. You can do that. You can't, or, ooh, what are these? Crabs, we're gonna learn about them later in the week. Crabs, and how many of them are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. So you can either match them where the crabs are, or uh, like that, so you can see both, or you can put it next to the number four, okay? Or you could take two numbers, let's see, I got a number two, hold on, I got this, six, six minus two equals, what's six minus two equal? Can you do it on your hands? Can you do it while I'm trying to find the number? I think it's in the beginning. Where is it? <clears throat> Where is it? Uh, anyway, let's try. Oh, I found it. All right. So you can put this on your on your uh, table like a game. So you have a six. Minus means to take away. Six minus. Am I doing this the right way? I think it goes this way. Six minus two. Put that on your pay, on your table, then you put equals, and then you do the math problem. I don't know if this is right, but I'm hoping it is. Six, I think it's the other way. Oh, Miss Kathy's, this is, this is gonna be a funny video, that's for sure. Six minus two equals, let's do it on our hands. Six minus two, one, two, equals how many left? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. And then you put a four. So six minus two equals four, okay? Your mom and your dad can help you with that and your older brother and your older sister. And you can play games with them or you can play by yourself or you could just glue them together. So I'm giving you all the parts to the game and then you play with it the way you wanna play with it. You don't have to write your name. You don't have to write anything else. You don't have to glue. You could just play the game and match the numbers and match the, the, the amount of sea creatures. And you could do um, addition problems and subtraction problems. You could put the numbers in order, one, two, three, four, five, right on your table, okay? If you do it and mommy's got her phone around, give, send me a picture that you did some of that stuff. That way I can see that, that you're learning. Even though you're not at school, you're still learning. Because who's helping you learn at home? your mom and your dad and your grandma and grandpa and, and uncles and aunts and your big brother and big sister, right? And Miss Kathy's giving you information, but you guys are doing it on your own. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. All right. Now, jellyfish. We I made a jellyfish. Look at this. That's a jellyfish. See, it has the body and then the mouth is right in the middle. And then it has tentacles. Remember, we called them tentacles. So what I did was, this is my friend Joanne. She gave me this idea. It's a very cool idea. So I, I said, give me that idea. I want to use that idea. So this is what she told me to do. She said, take a paper plate and paint it or color it blue. And that looks like the ocean. And then put a little slit right in the middle. Cut a little line right in the middle. Not all the way across, just a little bit in the middle. And take another paper plate and cut it in half and paint that one any color you want because jellyfish are all different colors. And then I just glued on like white um, white uh, circles for eyes and I just glued on a little bit of tissue paper for the middle of the eye. And then on the back I glued on strips of tissue paper. But you can glue on ribbon, you can glue on curling ribbon, you could glue on little strips of regular construction paper. You could glue on anything, fabric. You could do uh, strips of tissue paper. And then I glued on, I glued on two popsicle sticks, but you can make your own like, like Miss Kathy does where you roll up the paper and glue it on there. 
or you can use like a plastic fork or something that you're not going to need anymore so that you have like a puppet. So this is your puppet and you're holding the stick, see? And then you put the stick in the slit that you made in the other paper plate and it looks like, hold on, it looks like it's dancing in the ocean. I know, pretty cool. It's a lot of work, but you can do it. It's not difficult. And then you have a puppet that you can play with, okay? Two paper plates, tissue paper, a little tiny bit of construction paper, crayons, markers, or paint, and scissors. And you got it, a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. All right, today is Wednesday. We have tomorrow where we have our kindergarten Zoom meeting and then Friday and then it's summer and you can play and you can have fun and you don't have to do too much work. A little bit of work, especially if you're going to kindergarten, you want to keep up with the letters and the numbers and the adding and subtracting and words and reading. You want to keep up with that. So a little bit every day, but not, not for Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy will give you a little bit of a break. All right. All right. Getting a little sad for Miss Kathy, but that's okay. That's okay, because I'm going to see you again. So I want you to keep up with keeping safe so that we can get out, okay? So wear your mask when you go outside. If you come to camp, whether it's my camp or somebody else's camp, they're going to want you to wear a mask. So make sure you have a mask that's your size and you wear it when you go so nobody gets sick, okay? And make sure that you wash your hands 20 seconds. You gotta do it over and over and over again, not just once a day. Every single time you go outside or eat or um, before you eat and after you eat or if you're playing with your toys, right? I want you to wash your hands 20 seconds. And I want you to cough in your elbow, <coughs> sneeze in your elbow, achoo. I want you to be safe. You stay away from too many people. Stay with your family. If you go to camp, you stay with your group, okay? All right. I love you. I miss you a lot. But we'll be together soon. Have a good day. I love you. I'll see you later.